Richard! Well, it didn't take you very long. Oh, boy. I came by to pick up my things, so take them off, buddy. Hi. I beg your pardon. I'm particular about who wears my pajamas. Since when? Look. Oh, look, Richard, I'll make you a deal. Forget the pajamas and I'll forget the money you owe me. I don't owe you a thing, you pathetic old faggot. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh. Get up! You broke my nose! Oh, next time, pick on someone your own size. Oh, I'll get you for this, Tony. Oh, get out! <laughs> what a... Horrible human being. He was jealous. He thought you were my new lover. <laughs> he really thought I was a man. My God. What's wrong? Victoria, I've just had the most incredible idea. Oh? You said you wanted to be a man. Uh, no, no, no. I said there were times when I well, felt like Well, here's your chance. Man. What an inspiration. Europe's greatest female impersonator. Who? You! Me? You'll be a star. You'll be bigger than Garbo and Dietrich by far. Trust me. Oh, come on. If fate is kind, you could be Mr. Get and Chevalier combined. Trust me. <laughs> oh, sure. The trick for a drag queen is trying to act like a woman, which very few can. But the fact is, a drag queen's a man. So what are you saying? You're not a man. Ah, you noticed. You're a woman they'll think is a man. What a plan. Toddy. Trust me. Oh, Toddy, this is crazy. Now being a girl, mm -hmm. they all think is a man sets their minds in a world. Mine too. Trust me. Trust me, all you have to do for the dream to come true is go out there and be what you are, and we'll make you a world-famous star. Oh, 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 you're delirious. Lower your voice. Toddy. Lower. Toddy. A Caruso, not Chalya. Toddy, if you don't get back into bed, Good. I take Good, when you get angry, it drops naturally. <laughs> Look, you don't have to do anything new. Simply do what you do when you're you. I don't do that. And the audience won't have a clue. It's true. So, for your plan. My plan? To succeed, and it can, they must think you're a man. Trust me. Trust me. If you're a man. Which I'm not. You'll be the greatest star since show business began. Go on. Trust me. No. Trust me. No. The beauty of this is like all great ideas. It's as simple as simple can it's be. It's simple, all right. And we'll have each other to thank. For what? For our penthouse at the George Saint. Oh, that. It's a free ride to the bank. The left bank. But if you trust me. Should I? Trust me. Could I? Trust me. <laughs> Victoria, it will work. Ah, oh, Toddy, it will not. People believe what they see, and tomorrow afternoon, Andre Cassell is going to meet Europe's greatest female impersonator. But Andre Cassell is the biggest agent producer in Paris. Uh, if I'm the greatest, how come he's never heard of me? You're the greatest, but you're unknown outside Poland. Poland? You're Count Victor Grzynski, a Polish aristocrat. Your family disowned you when they discovered you were gay. Ah. We met in Warsaw, fell in love, and I brought you to Paris. Ah, this is all very clear now. This cannot fail I agree. to get both of us dumped in some grim Paris jail. Toddy, trust me. But no, trust me. Victoria Grant's got a much better chance singing Tosca in Clacton on Sea. My proposal is not that bizarre. Yes, it is. At Cassell's, you'll become a huge star. Toddy. It's about who they think that you are. Now hold it. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? What's right? A, a woman impersonating a man impersonating a woman? Darling, to convince an audience that an illusion is real, the magician creates a plausible diversion. Count Grzynski is our plausible diversion. But no audience is that gullible. I mean, they'll know he's a phony. Exactly. What? They'll know he's a phony. Trust me.